Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the Bob's Burgers movie. And I've been a huge Bob Bur Bob's Burgers fan. <laughs> keep saying Bob Burgers. Thanks, Teddy. Um, the, I've been a fan of the show since the first season. I've watched all 12 seasons up to this point with the finale that was just this week. And I am such a huge fan of the Belchers. A lot of times in life I feel like Bob. And... I was so excited when they finally announced like this was getting a movie and Lauren Bouchard obviously is taking the reins and directing this with all the team and you have everybody, like everybody. This movie has like every single noticeable character in Bob's Burgers coming back and popping up and obviously we have H. John Benjamin and Kristen Shaw, Dan Mintz, John Roberts, Eugene Merman and the whole group of the Belcher clan there, and then of course you have Zach Galifianakis and Kevin Klein coming back as the fish odors because somebody's been murdered. And that was the most shocking thing right off the bat. This movie starts with like a pre uh, pre log of somebody getting murdered at the wharf, and then six years later, and the sinkhole opens and they find a body, and I'm just like. Bob's Burgers is having like a legit murder mystery and I feel like that and the fact that this is a full-blown musical which all the quirkiness and endearing nature of Bob's Burgers all rolled into these musical numbers this makes it feel like a movie and the animations kicked up it looks great and it doesn't compromise on the look of Bob's Burgers but it does make it look more cinematic and those three elements made this film feel like it was worthwhile, this being a movie. Um, they do pad out this hour and 45 minute runtime with like this big murder mystery with the three kids who all each have their own internal struggles going on that gives them more depth and helps their characters grow. And as layers to their journey, that's so interesting at the core of this film. And then you have Bob, Linda, and Teddy because the sinkhole's there trying to sell burgers off of a cart on the wharf, and they have all their shenanigans and fun, and the Bob and Linda are struggling trying to get money to keep the burger restaurant open, and that's a good story. But then they, it does feel a little flabby, because they literally try to loop in every single character on Bob's Burgers into this. But, you know, this film captures the spirit of the show, the quirky music, the crazy, weird, and endearing and idiosyncratic characters, and there's some exciting action set pieces. There's a crazy chase at the end, and the climactic, big, emotional moment of this film adds so much weight and emotion to it, and I was really surprised by that. Shouldn't be, because this is a great show, and they did a fantastic job translating this onto the big screen with a story worth having a movie about. And, you know, like I said, it does feel a little overstuffed and trying to do too much to try to incorporate all these characters in some shape or form. But, you know, this ridiculous ensemble all comes together from people, you know, like Sarah Silverman and her sister and Aziz Ansari and Paul Rudd as a horse. And in one of Tina's imaginary kind of fantasies. And all of these people coming together, making such an enjoyable and endearing and impactful film. I was so happy as a fan of film to enjoy this wonderful animated feature. But also as a fan of Bob's Burgers to see this jump to the big screen and still do what Bob's Burgers does great. Which is be funny, make us love these characters, and have a blast. But those are my thoughts on the Bob's Burgers movie. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.